come on in. Okay, this is so awkward. I feel like we should be doing a Vogue, like, 73 I completely questions. I agree. <laughs> but it doesn't make any sense no. for our dorm tour. No. But welcome to our dorm tour. I'm in a wall in one of the triples. And this, this is our room. And... I know this was actually okay doing a room tour was the reason I wanted to make a YouTube channel because I remember before moving in there's literally only like one good wall dorm tour um and it's somebody from like COVID time so they don't have a third roommate so it's like not realistic but there's very much three of us living in this room so we'll do a little tour of all the things and some like tips and tricks of like things that we got that we like love so okay we'll start with this is my bed i i have the loft i guess this is a loft yeah and then there's two bunks and then they have their desk my desk is on the here i'll plug in my cute little lights um and so obviously like the school provides you your your bed and your desk we chose to buy an ottoman a lot of people choose to buy bean bags and stuff so that you can get more storage and then seating whenever you have people over my favorite secret is that we keep campchairs tucked away in the corner and then whenever people come over we take them out but yeah i have my desk and i put up all my pictures i have my letter board my christmas countdown right now and everything's christmasy um so we'll do uh is there legitimately nine days of quarantine <laughs> okay so i'm gonna do a little bit more of an in-depth tour of right here and I figured I'll just start with the bed. So I took the space above my bed to, we have some fairy lights that we've just hooked around. And then I've done a little photo wall and I just got photos off Pinterest and then a tapestry off Etsy. And I'll climb up just to show you. I have like my bed, I have some fun pillows. Do not get a ridiculous amount of pillows. I got some and I took them home because they're just so annoying. And there's no place to put them when you're sleeping. So buy the amount you need and stick to it. And then I have my blanket that's just kind of thrown on my bed. But um, yeah, and I have some stuffed animals. Uh, and then for your bed, you definitely want a mattress stopper. And then one thing I got that I personally like, I know some people will not, is this like case that holds that like, you can't see it, but it basically like, it's a plastic covering that holds the mattress stopper and the, um, like actual like mattress that they provide you together and then whenever you put on your sheets it's a it's way easier but yeah the beds are like i technically have i think twin sheets but they kind of stretch to fit so i think it's a twin xl um so plan for that but definitely not like a full-size bed it's definitely a twin it's small so buy your sheets and comforter accordingly okay so then looking at the loft um, we can look inside the wardrobe really quick and then we'll do desk. Um, so in my wardrobe, I have shelf on top and then hanging on bottom, but I don't personally have like that many things when it comes to like hanging. So I decided to put these in so I can like, cause I don't want to hang my t-shirts. I like fold them. So you can definitely do more hangers or less, but it's definitely important to remember that like my shirts like all like slouch, slouch on the bottom. They do not like, they're not like hung up. So like, even if you're trying to hang shirts, they probably will get wrinkly. So folding might be better for that. But then you have some room on top and I keep like my jackets and then some of my denim and I tuck some more books in here. Um, but yeah, that's how I chose to do this. I think there's a lot of different ways to do all the wardrobes here based off what you want and need and then we can look inside of here and i got little organizers for all of my like clothes and then i have my sheets i have some random extra tupperware for the girls really i loved having like a board game for especially for orientation week but i have two drawers so mine don't need as much organization because they don't get as messy um but i find like especially with the big ones as you'll see in a second here let me show you there is just like a lot more depth inside so you want some organizers 100 percent to split things up and help you like utilize the full height of the drawer if that makes sense so there's that and then to the desk itself 
So we all get provided like the exact same desk. Um, and I have everything on top of the desk is mine. Um, so I've chose to hook up some like fairy lights here. And then I turn my desk like this instead of facing the wall because I think it's a really cozy working environment. I have this like desk like or desk hat chair padding for like the bottom and the back and I personally really like studying at my desk so it's really useful to me and I know both my roommates like they use like blankets and uh, Haley's grandma made her like padding so you definitely want it because the chairs are on comfy so um do that and then I have my little calendar hung up here. I have a freshman year bucket list I made. And then I have my desk. So I have some binders and like my lab notebook here, my iPad. And then I bought this little desk organizer off just Amazon and got it shipped here and was able to pick it up. And I'm currently in Christmas mode, as you can tell. So I have some little Christmas gnomes and a tree. Um, I have Toothless always watching over me. He's a little plushie I have. I keep some books, so some stuff I'm like reading for fun, and then I do some, I, a lot of my classes have reading, so I kind of cycle out what book is in here instead of in there. Just have my computer out, some fidgets, um, iPhone stand, I'm really a fan of this, and then I can like tuck it into the back and I feel, I'm like, oh, we'll do work. And in Christmas mode, I currently have my like Christmas mug out, an advent calendar, um, need to clean my mug from this morning but then I have a speaker on my desk and I love having my speaker because a lot of the times especially when you're just like in the room doing whatever maybe reading hanging out um it's really nice to have music especially if you're getting ready to go somewhere um and I found so google homes work but I'm echoes like don't connect to the wi-fi on college campuses for some reason um so Definitely plan for that. I know a lot of people bought them and weren't able to use them. And then I have my lamp, which is definitely a must, especially if you're like studying late at night and you don't want to keep all the room lights on um, if your roommates are trying to sleep. So you want some specific like desk lighting so that you can work. Now we have this set of like drawers. And as you can see, like Haley has hers organized better with like bins, but I personally just have them kind of strewn in there um but i have like this one's kind of my school stuff so i have some like a stash of chocolate of course and then a bunch of like stationary supplies and in the back i have some more like binders and stuff in case i need them but i mostly use my ipad and then down here i have my letters for my letter board expo markers which are my favorite thing because i'm always studying and then I keep some more dishes and bottles in the back that I don't use super often. And then more emotional support chocolate. Because who doesn't need emotional support chocolate? And my umbrella right there right now. But um, normally it stays in my backpack. And then my drawer. Again, you definitely want organization. I just got these little tubs from Target. And then that helps me like split it up. But this is kind of the, the everything in life drawer. It just, everything ends up in here, um, but there's a method to the madness, and it's just kind of what you have to do when you're living in a dorm room. So I have like chargers, sunglasses, some hair products and jewelry, um, and then like some eye mask right here, um, mints, lactate, lactose intolerance, intolerant life, and then definitely I think be prepared to be sick often in college, so like cough drops, I have Vicks Vapor Rub. I don't know this stuff that, like works magic. Allegra D for whenever you're congested. So it's just like all the things um, kind of live in here for me. But it's definitely a thing where if I didn't have these tubs, it would be game over. You want organization. I think my biggest thing is like when you're coming to college, you'd rather be have too much organization than too little. That's like this area right here, but if you don't end up with the loft and you decide, I mean, we kind of all agreed on like, I wanted the loft naturally. And Haley was like, I want, a, I don't know, Kira wanted the top bunk, Haley wanted the top bunk, it all just worked out. Those are my roommates. Um, but 
don't know. It's definitely something you want to discuss before you come because you want to plan differently based off which bed you have. But yeah. Personally, I showed up and that's how I did it. Good for you, Lita. <laughs> we planned. Um, but my room also doesn't look like this. Yeah, we, we put a lot of thought and effort into our lovely, of humble abode. Um, okay, so now like digging into this corner of the room, I guess we can start. We have some space. Okay, so some of the rooms are slightly bigger than others. So like some people have a room that's like low key, like meant to be a triple, so they have more space. We don't have that much space, but we have a little um, cart tucked in, or a little thing tucked in the corner, and we do some food over there with this box that has literally everything but like actual like chips in there. We have like a little cleaning moment in the corner. So we got a air purifier and dehumidifier. That is literally, you need that here in New Orleans because it is so humid all the time. And you can tell whose rooms has them and whose do not. You can see our camp chairs. I have my laundry and my shoes here. We have a slipper to mop. Um, and then vacuum for our rug, which is really annoying, but you know what? We make it work. Um, and then I will like peek into, oh, you, you have storage up there. Um, both my roommates, it's like right before winter break, so my roommates have already left, so their suitcases aren't up there, but we keep our suitcases up there. And then if we look in the big wardrobes, they all have a shelf on top, on, shelf on top too, and then like the bar, but they obviously have like actual space for your clothes to hang all the way, which was not the case for mine, but, um, I don't think like it's that bad. I'm also like... I could survive without that many clothes, so you definitely want the roommate who can like live without clothes to do that. And then they have a giant drawer in the bottom, so definitely bring organization for you need organization and bins for all the things. And even I and my tiny drawers you saw like have tiny organization. Okay, and micro fridge. So a micro fridge is a microwave on top of a fridge. It's a very co college term. Oh, this is our doorstop. We like to keep the door open, especially when we have like people over and stuff. So there, I don't know. Um, we let all of our dishes dry up here. Um, so we have a towel and then the school gives you this. Obviously, I mean, you know what a mini fridge looks like, but our secret or one of our favorite things is that we put the rolling cart full of like food and snacks in front. And then we have like dishes on top that we all share. And it's really nice because we personally eat a lot in the room. I know some people who like don't, but like, I don't know, for us, we're, we're constantly like making ramen, popping some popcorn, um, reheating leftovers, doing frozen meals, whatever. So definitely that there is like, even as freshmen, like without cars, like we go to, you can go to Whole Foods, which is like one of the close places. And then there's like local smaller grocery store, which is even closer, Rouse's. And you can get like normal groceries there because Whole Foods groceries, as you, as you probably know, are not like normal people groceries, they're like fancy. But yes, so you'll be, you can stay stocked on food if you choose to, or you cannot. Okay, so picking up in this corner, which seems unnotable, but we have some important secrets. So my favorite thing that we did actually like, is like buy books, or books, ha, huh? hooks for like everything. Like both of our doors have them. You'll see there's towels on this, but like it rains a lot cause we're living in a swamp. So we always have our rain jackets and umbrellas. So like we can grab them on the way out the door and then whenever they're wet, you can hang them here because there's not really, you don't want to put them on the floor and then they dry. And also we have a chore chart because that's what works for us as roommates. Um, and we have like our normal chores and then you do it. And then once you do it, you move it over to the next person. So each person does like all the chores equally. And we have a little growing Polaroid wall because I'm obsessed with like Polaroid. And I'm, I needed a wall, a Polaroid wall to feel like home. Wait. But yeah, it's so cute. I love it. Um, so excited to take them home and add them to my wall at home at the end of the year too. Um, and then this is the sink in the room. So all the wall rooms have sinks inside. Um, some of the rule, okay, so wall has, um, it's honors housing technically, but there's also gender affirming housing in here. And then there's like some rooms that are just singles because like if you request a single, you can end up in a wall. So it's not, it honors is like gets preference, but it's not only honors. It's not honors anymore. Oh, 
well okay it's not honors housing anymore well here we are but um long story short the rooms here are, are like some of them are accessible so like they don't have this under the sink so like be prepared for like that in your room like it could be a possible ignore the honors college stuff but yeah like um the wall rooms like they all have sinks but like not all of them will have the same thing up like have the storage at the bottom so you might have to bring her by your own storage but um we obviously have each room it gets two drawers and we keep all of our like random toilet paper inside and oh i just destroyed it but i have like organization in here and it's super deep which and like i think you can hold a lot of stuff in there it's very nice and then we did like this little tub up here for like, we bought some like bug spray and sunscreen just like from Costco and we all like split it up. Um, I had to wait by myself. Yeah. Of course, if I'm there, <laughs> duh. Um, but like, and then we have like our toothpaste and stuff. So this is easily accessible for like whenever you're doing your nighttime routine. And then this keeps it all like clustered together. And then we have this Brita. This Brita is the best thing that ever happened to us because people will get the Brita jugs and then like to store them in the fridge literally have their entire fridge taken up by the I jug. disagree so we like this our water isn't technically cold but we do freeze ice in the freezer sometimes so like if like that's totally an option if you like your water cold but then still like to do this and then it's bigger and we don't have to refill it as often and we love it a lot and it fits so perfectly so that's totally a possibility um but we have the pretty sure the skinnier version of the Brita um, I just think this is cute. We have our affirmation. We just finished finals week. So our finals week affirmation was congrats on getting out of bed. Because sometimes when you don't have to go to class, getting out of bed can be really difficult. Um, but, oh, another cute secret. We like having our little dish soap and sponge in this little container so that it stays dry. And then we have paper towels right here. Um, we keep some hand sanitizer and soap, the essentials. Um, and then we hang our towels here. And then we've decided on the middle space for like a lot of our like cleaning stuff. And then, so we have like a bottle of bleach down there, extra paper towels, trash bags, and all those kinds of things that we all like use. So that's one place we keep that. Okay, so this is like the half of the room that isn't really mine, but I'll walk you through some things. Um, I know I talked about this earlier, hooks everywhere. They're so good. Um, we have these for towels. There's only one like towel hook in the restroom and also sometimes it like stays damp in the restroom So we like our towels here. So they actually dry um, And then like Kiana has her space decorated. Haley has her space decorated as she likes um, and We have um, Over here. I just said that like four times. Um, okay, we have our there's this random like column and every room has them but we have a mirror with ours and then we have like a shrine and like a lot of things that we've been collecting so um i know i've talked about this before but like Haley's in a pre-professional fraternity for pre-law and kiana's in one for pre-business so like they're they have like host parties and then we have wristbands for that we have a cafe du monde shrine because we live in new orleans and we're obsessed with beignets duh um but yeah we just kept collect all the trinkets and we collect them and we like put them up on the wall and it's really fun because we like to like accumulate accumulate our memories. And then Haley and Kiana have their laundry. I have more hooks. We can hang up like our bags and backpacks. I have a wallflower plugged into the corner. Air fresheners are the move because you're not supposed to have, like you can't have candles because that's a fire hazard. So you definitely want to consider like I have the plug in for Bath and Body Works. You could do a diffuser, whatever you like. I think it's great. Um, and also, I love like when people walk into the room and they're like, oh my gosh, it smells so good. I love hearing that. It's a great compliment. So I think it's worth the investment. Um, but yeah. Okay. Okay. So next we have the restroom. So we share our restroom with our suite mates. So there's three of us in this room, three of us in that room. Each person has like a little bit of a different suite mate situation. So sometimes it's like two and two, three and two three and one even. So you never really know what you're gonna get, but um, regardless, you're gonna, oh, and some people don't have suite mates because their rooms are just in weird positions. So there's no way to like know what you're gonna get. It's kind of just random, but we have three and three um, and we never have, I think one of the biggest things I was worried about before moving in was like, 
oh my gosh are we all gonna be trying to shower at the same time or like have problems and i've literally like basically never had a problem with it all semester so people in morning showers you just end up like showering between classes or showering at like everyone's idea of a late night is a little different so um yeah and if you come in you definitely want to invest in a shower curtain i mean they come with the rod but yeah get a curtain the there's nothing inside the shower except for this little ledge so what we did is we all still technically have um shower caddies as you'll see when we turn around but we invested in like this they're called over the toilet stands as we discovered when we were trying to buy them and us and our suite mates have all of our shower caddies on it and we love it and then we have like little fresheners as you can tell i'm just like obsessed with like air fresheners apparently and then there's some hand sanitizer that's currently lying down for some reason and then we have um, a towel that we pour that people like put on the floor after they get out of the restroom your bars the are so high so that we don't have to like i mean we don't like flood the restroom other than that pretty run-of-the-mill restroom definitely get your own trash can for in the restroom and in the room i guess we have like two trash cans in the room and we use them and they get filled up often so yeah that is the restroom it's tiny but like it's totally functional and i've never been like i'm really you know like i'm really happy with this over communal especially just because like you know you forget your towel some days you do you do whatever and you just you could be like hey can someone hand me my towel and it's a fun part of living but yeah that is the end of the room tour thank you for coming along i hope this is helpful i just i can feel my um hopefully if you're coming to tulane um you're gonna have a great time and i'm already so excited because it's a great school um and good luck with your movement if that is happening soon for you okay